Hi everybody. I've been asked to make a screencast to demonstrate how to use Screencastify to record screencasts to send home to our students. Uh, this is something we've done with great success in fifth grade um, and it seems like the perfect time to utilize this tool. Thankfully you've already got Screencastify. Keith has pushed it forward to your computers so um, in your in your Chrome browser you'll see all these little extensions off to the side and this one right here is uh, the little red arrow is Screencastify. So it should be there for you. And when you click on it for the first time, it's gonna ask you to sign in with your Google stuff. So I'm gonna sign in with my LH Prep information. Now, I think it just automatically logged me in because uh, my, I've already logged in on Google here. But you would uh, sign in using your LH Prep information. Uh, and then when I go ahead and click the arrow again, you'll see that it's, uh, it's gonna first ask you to set up microphone and camera access. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and allow it to use my camera. Um, I'm gonna, of course, allow it to use my microphone as well. And it launched my camera. Uh, I'm using my new MacBook Air here. Um, I'm also gonna uh, enable drawing tools so that you can um, you know, use your cursor as more than just a, a mouse um, during recording. So I've enabled that. Uh, and I'm gonna go back and click it again. Uh, I'm going to embed the webcam. This is optional for you. You can either record your screen um, with just the tab that's open, or you can go whole screen, or you can use uh, just a webcam uh, if you wanted to just have you on the camera. I'm going to, for this recording, I'm just going to use my desktop. I'm not going to do the webcam because, uh, ironically, I'm recording a screencast about how to make a screencast using a different screencast software, so I don't want two webcams going at the same time. Um, anyway, but you could do that uh, if you want. By default, I think it should select your microphone in your Mac, um, but if you have an external mic you'd like to add, like I've got a, a little snowball mic, you can plug it in and change it here. But by default, it'll pick your, your Mac's mic. And when you're ready to uh, record, you just hit the blue button here. Now, I would recommend if you're gonna record uh, over, say, a textbook page online, or you're, uh, you're gonna record uh, a PowerPoint lesson you're gonna talk through, I'd get that queued up first and kind of minimized so that when you hit record, uh, you can quick move move down and select that, make it full screen so that you start recording nice and clean with a fresh, like a, a full screen page. So anyway, let me do that. I'm going to hit record. Um, and lovely. I'm going to hit system preferences. Um, I'm not sure why. This is new to me. I think it's just going to ask if it'll allow us to, um, to record the screen. I'm going to quit because I have to and then relaunch. All right, so here we are. Uh, I'm ready to, ready to record now, finally, after 30 steps. And I'm gonna hit record. Um, now it's gonna ask me, do I wanna record the entire screen, which would in, you know include the dock down here and everything's off the side on your desktop, or I can just choose application window in which case it's gonna block all the rest of that stuff. If you're gonna record a, say a keynote or a PowerPoint or something like that, you're gonna to wanna to probably do the whole screen since when you hit full screen on the slideshow, it goes full screen so you wanna choose the entire screen. And when you're ready, just hit, um, click that and hit share. So it's counting down three, two, one, and now I am being recorded. Everything I do, my movement of my mouse, uh, the, obviously my voice, in this case, uh, not my picture, but you could have chosen that. Um, any change in websites you make, uh, different apps that you open, it's recording all of what's happening on the screen with my voice at the same time. Now when I'm ready to stop, I'm gonna hit the stop sharing button, and <laughs> it should go right to your Google, um, it's gonna publish this right to your Google Drive. Um, automatically. Now you have some options to share it right from here. Um, for me, I want to get a link. So um, I'm going to cl click this blue button and get a, a link to share. So I've now copied that. It's probably smart to, um, to, to go into your Google Drive and make sure that it's set to public. And so I'm going to do that. It's still uploading the video, so it takes a few minutes to do that. Um, but if I, if I open a new tab and go to my drive, I'll show you. Jeepers.
that it's created a Screencastify folder automatically. Um, and I've got a lot in here, but um, if I open that folder, the one that I'm recording right now is right here. Um, I would want to right click on that thing and share it here and, and just make sure that it's set to public because if you uh, send it to your kids and it's it's not uh, public, they may not be able to open it, uh, open it if they're off campus. So I'm going to hit share. Um, now, right now it's set to anyone with a link in view, so that's basically public and that's fine. I just wanted to check that. If it wasn't, you can go into advanced and, uh, and change that to make it public with any, you know, on the web or, or whatever. Um, but that's where I would copy my link and then you can share that out using Seesaw or Google Classroom or put it on a web page or whatever you want. Um, but that's, that's basically how you create these little uh, screencasts. Um, again, we've had success in fifth grade. Uh, using them for mostly social studies lessons. Um, let me show you that. Um, our students know to go to this website, which is a free website um, that you can create. Um, and it, for these next few weeks when they're off, they'll know to go to the screencast page and, uh, and to check out new lessons that I post in addition to the ones that I've already made here. Um, so. That's just one, one way we can reach our kids at home during this uh, interesting and unique time. Uh, if you are trying to do this on a home computer that doesn't have Screencastify already installed, I've made a screencast about how to install it. Um, it's a couple of years old, but uh, I'll send you that link as well. So hope that helps everybody.